Hello pets and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will try to teach you how to style your hair into very big goth-like hair. For this you're only gonna need a couple of things. First of all you're gonna need a brush, you're gonna need a comb. You don't really need a special kind of comb. Of course you can go to any shop and buy a back comb and comb but basically any comb where the tooth are very close to each other will do. Of course you're gonna need a ton of hairspray. I prefer, and it's a pity that they don't pay me for saying this, got to be glued from Schwarzkopf. I think it's the best hairspray to style your hair with. And the final thing, but that's just optional, are a couple of hairpins or hair clips. So before we come to the first step, I'm gonna show you how to make your hair like ready for the real styling. Um, this tutorial isn't really for you to exactly copy my hairstyle I will do today. I will... I change my hairstyle a lot, but I'm showing you how to prepare your hair so you can style it yourself. So you can find out a known style that fits you the most. So as you see, I do not have an undercut or anything like that. I just straightened my hair a little bit. You don't have to straighten your hair, it works perfectly fine without straight hair. Uh, but without straight hair it will look more like Robert Smith or something like that. And that's where the hairpins come in. I use hairpins because if I don't and I style my hair, my hair will fluffy all the way around and I do not really want that to happen, so yeah. Step number one, you want to take your brush and just comp your hair like you would do every day or whatever. You don't want any knots in your hair before you start to back comb. If you got any knots in your hair before you start to back comb, you will basically just rip your hair out of your head and it will hurt a lot. By the way, this whole process should not hurt a bit. If it hurts, you're doing anything wrong. So maybe you just left some knots in your hair before back combing it. I don't know, it shouldn't hurt at all. So step number two. You want to take some hairspray, and I'm sorry for my hair looking that crappy right now. You want to take some hairspray and just spray a little bit all over your hair. Not too much and not too close to your hair because that won't look good. So spray just a little bit all over your hair. It will make it a bit sticky, it will help it stand up after back on me. So after that, step number three comes in. And this is what a lot of people do a little bit different. Um, I will teach you how to back comb your hair. A lot of people section the hair and I personally prefer that too. Because otherwise you don't really have a view on what you back combed and what you did. So when you try to back comb your hair, I will start in the front now. I will come a bit closer and it will look very good. Uh, I will look very good. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, you just put the comb uh, in here and the word says enough back combing. Normally you would comb like this and now you pull the comb back to your head. And you will back comb it a lot at the roots of your hair because this is where the basic part will start that will have to hold your hair in the air or the way you want it to be. So. Just do it like this, you can do it a bit faster and when you come to the end of your hair you don't want to back comb it a lot. For the hairstyle I'm gonna do today it's not really a big problem if I would but if you want like a death hog or anything like that if you back comb it too much at the end of your hair it will be too heavy and fall down. That's where gravity comes in. So like I said, start from the roots and you work all the way to the end of your hair. And as you see, without using a lot of hairspray or anything like that, just only by back combing my hair, my hair will stand like this, like a gothic unicorn. 
So this is what you basically want to do to all of your hair and then step 4 comes in. But first, finish this. So as you see, with only back combing and using the little hairspray in the beginning of this video, everything is already starting to take a little bit of shape. And for today's hairstyle, I won't put my hair all the way in the air. There's a lot of rhymes today, I'm sorry guys. Uh, but yeah, as you see, this is basically, basically just what you have to do. Um, and with the back combing, you can create a lot of different hairstyles. And that's what I said in the beginning of the video too, you don't have to copy exactly what I am doing right now. You also, you also don't have to have long hair. Uh, it can be way shorter than mine, it can be way longer than mine. It doesn't really matter for back combing. Your hair, you can back comb your hair when it is like this long, that will already be enough. So let me finish this right now. What you probably also see is that I am back coming a lot at the end of the hair too and if you want your hair to stand really high in the air I wouldn't suggest that but since I'm doing something else you can do that. It's a bit of experimentating um, and in the end you will find your best way to do it. Well as you see I've back combed everything right now the next part, so step number four, is more hairspray. You want to put a lot of hairspray in your hair just to hold your hair like this the whole day, the whole night, maybe even a week if you put enough in it. So that's what I'm going to do now. With the Death Hawk, which, which I told you in my Death Hawk video too, which is about three years old right now, I told you that if you want to uh, make something like a death hawk, you really need to put a lot of hairspray in the roots, like this, and with your hand, just spread it all over your hair. Well, step number four is completed. This is what it looks like right now, and now I'm coming to the real styling. This is actually nothing more than back combing and hairspraying. This is where my hairpins come in. I like to take this hair I got right here and just do a little bit of a fake side cut with it. Because in the end this will look really stupid because it will fall to the front and it will basically look like this and I personally don't really like that. So I take some hairpins, take my hair like this, put it all to the side and put some hairpins inside. By the way, random fact number one, an average zero uses about two packages of hairpins every fucking month. It's almost like they travel in different dimensions. I'm always searching and looking for my hairpins, I never find them. Well, as you see, I pinned this section of my hair. I will just take one last one for this little section over here. Let me finish that. Well, and as you see, it doesn't really look that good right now. So this is where some more styling, some more back combing and Basically finishing your haircut comes in and that's step number five or six or five. I don't I don't remember So again, I will take some more hairspray Spray right here 
and with my hands I will just fluffy it a little bit around. Basically just like this. Because today I want it to look like a bit trashy. I don't want it to look perfect. I want to look at I want it to look like I've been partying the last five years. A great tip I want to give you is the hair in the front you have. Back on it a lot, put a lot of hairspray in it. Because believe me, in the end of the day, the hair will come down on your face and it will tickle that fucking much. It will make you it will make you absolute crazy. So even if you think this is alright, believe me, after a few hours of partying, it will come down to your face, it will tickle. So, with the last step, exactly the same as some other steps, you take some more hairspray, you want it to hold, so use some of it. Always double check the hair in the back, because it's something I personally like to forget to back on. So always double check it. You don't want to look perfect from in the front and if you turn around you look like shit, so. And well, that's basically it. This is just how I like to style my hair today. As I said, this is not exactly how you have to do it. You can do it the way I did it, with the hairspray, the back combing, stuff like that. But you can style it just like you want. So, I want to thank you for watching. Right now, you just need a dad cheap and you're ready to party. Well, and with a little dad black sheep on my shoulders, I am ready to party. I want to thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed the video, if I could help you, leave a like to show me you liked it, uh, leave a comment, if you have any suggestions or any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time.